Hello everybody, Michael O'Grady here again and we're now on to part 5 uh, sheet uh, of the Artisteer 3 uh, tutorial series. Uh, this is what we ended up at the end of part 4 where we'd looked into background. So with sheet this is basically looking at the position and size of uh, everything that sits on top of the background. Here we can um, uh, choose to have uh, rounded, cornered, shadowed boxes, uh, without shadow, um, without uh, a top with the element going right up to the top and then a thick border. And the three columns are basically, this is narrow, um, this one is wider, uh, if it does it, and this one is wider still. <coughs> So you pick these uh, three basic outlines, let's go with this one, and then you can fine tune the width. So we've gone for 900 pixels here, that looks okay. Um, more sheet widths, I can probably pick it exactly as I want, let's go for uh, 950. You can see there's a few other things in here, we'll be coming to this uh, later on. There's a top offset. Uh, no offset, 10, 20 pixels, let's go for 10. Uh, padding between the edge of the sheet and the content. Um, it's currently no padding. Let's have a look at 7 pixels. Okay, so that's put uh, what looks like a border around the top. So let's go to uh, 2 pixels there. Radius, the corner of these corners can be determined here. At the minute it's 15 pixels. Let's just go for 10. Uh, was there any... The other thing here, uh, artist here, please, it's not more radius, it's, just, it's radii. Um, okay, so we'll stay with 10. The border, how thick do you want your border? Um, let's have a look at more borders. Okay, so we're looking at border width here. Um, so let's just go to um, two pixels and then the shadow. Um, do you want a glow or a shadow, an internal or sorry, a, a glow all the way around or a shadow uh, from quasi sunlight? So let's have a look at uh, that one. And with all of these, we can um, get more details uh, through uh, the transparency and fill here through um, this sheet option. So we've got different options on our sheet and our shadow. The one it doesn't have is uh, fill. So just let's have a look at shadow. Uh, we can look at increasing the, the size of our shadow, uh, how opaque, how solid it is. Uh, the distance we're standing off the page um, and the angle 45 degrees uh, let's do that uh, minus 45 ish oops that seems to go in tens that's interesting okay um, so let's okay that and have a look at fill oh with transparency transparency is quite interesting um, it, the transparency affects the area in the the main part of the uh, site, the content. It doesn't necessarily affect the menu areas that have their own texture possibly, and their own colours, but it does allow the background to shine through the rest of the area. So if we go to, for example, 90%, <laughs> we'll have the majority of the background showing through uh, these non-menu areas. So, okay, so that can be a little bit distracting, but nonetheless um, very controllable. So transparency, uh, let's take that down to 20. Okay, and okay that. <coughs> um, and that's the, the sheet done. We've had a look at this um, for the shadow. Um, basically all fairly well there. Uh, well laid out, well controlled, and let's see the bottom. Okay, and again at the bottom, uh, a shadow and a gap here. So that's the end of.
part five. Um, and I hope to see you back in part six when we'll have a look at the header, this big block of content here.